and we're back with another devlog. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, I guess. On this week's episode of, god, episode again, Seashell's weekly indie game development log. We have a little bit of a short one. I'm going through the last lecture that I should go through today for Toon Tanks, and something has become very clear to me, and I figured this would happen, and I hate to say it, but I'm not gonna do any more of the actual coding for these and just watch them as if they are lectures because it's gotten to a point of diminishing returns in many different ways. In, in one way, a lot of this has just been copying code because there are fundamentals that they teach you, right? And they say, okay, challenge, implement this in the blueprint. And so you go and do that. But it comes to a point in which he's walking you through why he's doing what parts of the code. And I have to go back and forth and copy it exactly. I could try and do it on my own, but I don't have the willingness to do that for a game that is not my own. If that makes any sense. In other words, I'd rather just do it for Seashell. However, what has been really useful is the terms that come up in these videos. Dynamic delegates, using virtual or override, or not as I learned in a small discussion. What are common methods? How, do, how does everything work together? It's giving me a very good general overview, so I think I'm gonna keep watching these on 1.5 or 2x speed. I'm like getting impatient almost, and so at this point, it's, it's diminishing returns because I'm not really getting anything from it except the few overviews here and there. I'll hear a mention the game mode class and I understand how it works and what it's for. Um, I don't want to have to go and go through and copy all his code. I'd rather use these really good docs to jump into my own project. I just want to record that bit now. Figured I'd get it out of the way right here, right now. I did sketch uh, the intro menu, but then I decided to mock it up in Blender, which actually turned out pretty well. I'll throw a screenshot up right now. Um, that's kind of what I want the intro to look like. There's, you know, that initial table. There's a few items that, and if one's not there, one's not collected, it'll show a shadow. But I'm just, I'm itching to start. It's not like I'm going to finish the Toon Tanks and Simple Shooter parts of the course and be at a better place. I don't think copying the code is really going to help me, but looking at some of the upcoming lectures like Animation Blueprints 101, another lecture that goes over virtual methods in C++, I think those will be super useful. I'm just going to watch them as lectures and apply them to Seashell as I work on Seashell. You know, work on your weaknesses, but don't give up your strengths, I guess. I've got some stuff to do for an internship and some schoolwork though today, so I will get that out of the way and maybe get myself more in order for some seashell stuff. Maybe I'll skip the art, jump into some environment models. I figure that's better than nothing. You know, that intro screenshot, I had to make the walls, so I might as well make some some block model environments. Unreal isn't too unknown anymore. Now it's, it's all about if I jump in now or if I jump in when I finish the course, it'll be the same. The docs, I've referred to the docs a few times already, like they didn't go into dynamic gets much, but working with content in the docs, information on using art created in external applications, importing it, and setting it up for use in visualization and interactive applications. I feel like I've always been one for articles. Like if you gave me a, a video about something in an article, I'd usually choose the article. And th th you know, these lectures have been good. They've, they've, they've been good to get started, see how things interact with each other. But again, gonna watch them as lectures. I'll say that for the 10th time and I'm done. Anyway, I will see you in a minute, perhaps after a small miniature time lapse of me doing some stuff, and then we'll discuss next week, I guess because I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to be doing since I won't be finishing Toon Tanks. All right, so as I stand outside in the cold because my mom's recording something inside. But yeah, I figured since you know, I'm begging, doing the actual Toon Tanks work and just doing lectures, you know, if I clean my room, put them on the background, I would actually get some work done. So I did some uh, 3D stuff on Blender, which was kind of cool. I figure if sketching's holding me back, then you know what? We just skip sketching and we see how modeling goes. So I, I made a little cylinder for the height of the, 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 the girl, I guess. Um, whose head just goes above the drawer, and then I made a fridge. And this is kind of the mental image I have in my head. I'll, it's not perfect. Definitely, definitely doesn't follow many good conventions for modeling, just in terms of vertices and stuff. But um, yeah, unfortunately, gonna have to skip the community section because I was late to everything, and it's been a strange day, but in a good way. But yeah, <laughs> this is so strange. Thanks for watching this week's devlog. Uh, we'll be back next week for sure. Uh, a little more power. I did some stuff on the Trello board. I'll throw up a screenshot now. Um, also, if you join the Discord, we've got a giveaway going on for a three-month pass to Xbox Game Pass. All you gotta do is join the Discord in the uh, updates channel. Just react to the message. I'll generate a random number and pick that number from the react messages. Thanks to CJ for giving us that code. He gave it to me a while ago and just reminded me this evening about it. So yeah, I'll probably pick the winner within the next week because I think it expires in the start of March. Thanks again for watching. We'll have a more fulfilling devlog next week. Um, more modeling and an actual Unreal project finally. So it's kind of exciting. But yeah, have a good one. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome. See you next week.